Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for February 2021 for the sign of Leo. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards. So, and then I'll pull three tarot cards. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, what is the message from spirit for Leo? Thank you. For February 2021, please. Thank you. Message for Leo. Okay. Oh, I've pulled two cards. <laughs> I've got shine your light. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> and we've got raise your vibration. That is lovely energy. Raising your vibration, reconnecting to who you are, can be involved with healing as well, uh, but very nice energy indeed. Okay. Our vibration goes low when we, need, when we experience negativity. Um, and this is about shining your light once more, so it feels very beautiful. What is the message that Leo needs to hear, please, angels? Message that Leo needs to hear. So I have reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered, offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. So don't do it all on your own. It feels like help is at hand there. And what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Leo? Message for our lovely Leos, please. February 2021. Message for Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Again, there's an energy. We've got number 19, guard your energy. And we have guard your energy here. Guardian, guard your energy. It feels quite poignant for some of you. And we have... Number 25, living light energy, seeing the beauty in life. Something about guarding your energy here, raising your vibration, living light energy, stepping into your light, shine. I mean, you can see there's a common theme coming out here. Um, I'm going to pull one more card, Leo. Message for Leo, please, angel spirits, guides. What is the message Leo needs to hear, please? February 2021. Okay. Grey Squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. Archangel Raphael. Okay. So, Leo, I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is final advice or action. So what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Leo? February 2021, please. Message for Leo. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the Four of Cups. King of Wands, <laughs> very nice energy between those two. Um, and we have the Death card, wow, okay. Feels quite powerful here because the King of Wands, male or female energy is you, Leo. It's a Leo energy for me as a reader. So this reading is very, very much with you front and center. The message from Spirit, you know, the Four of Cups is sometimes a card of in deep thought we find direction it can be a card of re-evaluation as well re-evaluating something because for some of you i mean sometimes this can be about there are better things to to move forward for you know the four can be a card of foundation but it can also be a card of um stagnation and it's emotional energy, it's to do with our emotions and feelings. This is the divine nudge card. It's how the universe is saying, yes, there may well be options that you're considering, 
but this is the way that your intuition, your instinct, you know, um, God, the universe, the divine is guiding you. So it feels like you might be presented with some kind of direction, could be some kind of solution, could be in terms of opportunity. It feels like you're being guided to something better here. Or you're being guided in a certain direction here and you're being asked to take action towards it. So what does this reading pertain to? It pertains to you. If you feel that you, I mean, if you're feeling emotional stagnation, if you're feeling that your energy is low, I mean, sometimes this can be a card of boredom or feeling like you've been on an emotional roller coaster and you don't feel, you know, this person sat, Germany cross, sits crossed arms, crossed legs. You know, they see, they can sometimes see opportunity, but they're not sure that they want to move for it. It's a card of stagnation generally. And it can be a card of, it feels in this situation, emotions might be getting on top of you. And I think spirit is recognizing that and giving you some kind of answer or guidance. And it's guidance that's, that comes from deep thought, meditation, call it what you will, intuition, you know? So definitely take heed of intuitive energies this month because it's asking you to shine your light once more and that's what spirit is wanting you to do step into your power center stage front and center absolutely stepping into yourself your light coming back to who you are being back in your element uh you know the king of wands is the lead is take the lead it's interesting because this can be an inactive energy which is why it's the divine nudge um Again, that stagnating energy, and it's where you might be just given some kind of nudge to a specific direction that is going to bring you back on top, you know, back in your power, back on your throne, um, but also back to who you are, back in your light, you know, uh, definitely an energy of reconnecting to who you are, Leo. So it feels like something may have, I'm, I'm kind of getting this sense of emotions feelings keeping you stuck in a situation and this is where you need to guard your energy and it says see the beauty in life living light energy it is definitely a time for you to step into your light and yeah i'm definitely seeing this find new ways of solving problems because it feels for some of you you're being given help in how you need to move forward now the death card is a card of endings, but you know, the death card is, is Pluto energy, death, destruction, rebirth, transformation. The death card is a card of transformation, deep transformation. It's where it is out with the old, in with the new. And the new is reconnecting back to who you are. So it feels very much in this energy something may have ended or you're being told to draw a line under a situation now because this is the phoenix rising card and the phoenix rises from the old it embraces the new by releasing the old and that's what you're asked to do here in this situation and that is all part of your in that that is all part of your transformation from this kind of like i'm feeling this negative energy to light you know and you are the light you are one of the lights of, of the zodiac you're ruled by the sun so i definitely get this energy leo of now is the time to shine your light once more it feels very beautiful and that's what spirit is asking you to do in whichever context this is these are just messages okay so i'm going to pull a final card Final message for Leo, please, angels, spirits, guides. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does make, it never ceases to amaze me, the cards that come out. So we have number 23. Go out and plant new life seeds. Sow for your future. Because that's what you're being nudged 
towards and also there's definitely an energy with that cup you know there is something this is where you need to go because there's something better ahead and I definitely feel in this energy it is putting you back front and center in your element um yeah for some of you this is what it pertains to you know lovely I mean back on your throne you know this kind of energy is very very beautiful indeed but it's to do with endings and beginnings I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you Leo and I will see you next time thank you